Hey y'all, it's me Trish. <clears throat> Sorry y'all. I am the witch of the dismal swamp. How the hell is everybody doing? I just finished a video and I decided to go ahead and make this one um, from this book right here. You know, some somebody left me a comment told me to stay the hell out of the lane. Well, here you go. This is what I can't got my information from. And I'm going to read to you from this book on lodestones, okay? All right. Lodestone. Let me flip my book this way. The lodestone is held in high regard as a powerful amulet and good luck charm because its strong magnetic influences are thought to attract power, favors, and gifts. Lodestones come in all sizes from gravel, grit, or, or pebbles to one or two inch chunks. The grit is used to make lodestone oil or carried in mojo bags. Large pieces are used in rituals worked on an altar. Single lodestones will draw money or luck, while paired male and female. Lodestones are used to attract a lover and secure a mutual fidelity. A male lodestone is pyramidal, pyramidal, okay, or pointed, and a female lodestone is cubical or rounded. The stones should be roughly equal in size and weight. Lodestones are sprinkled with magnetic sand to feed them and get them working, and they may also be dressed with anointing oil. Now, that's what I've done with mine. I'll put some oil on mine. All right. To get what you desire. To attract money, sex, marriage, a new car, business, success, a child, a job, a lost lover, or you name it, write it, your wish on a paper and sign it with your name, Anoint a picture of what you desire. A drawing, a photo, a dollar bill, whatever to, whatever you can do. And the four corners of the name paper. Then you're going to anoint the four corners of the name paper with attraction or lodestone oil. Or with a specific dressing oil for your particular purpose. Such as love me or money drawing oil. Place the papers on a plate with a large lodestone on top. Pray over the lodestone, starting or stating your wish clearly. Then feed it with a pinch of magnetic sand, saying, In Jesus' name, Amen. Do this daily, but keep the lodestone hidden so no one can see your work. When your, when your wish comes true, Thank the lodestone and bury it in your yard with the magnetic sand and all the papers still on the plate. To keep love alive when you must travel away from your mate. The ancient Romans believed that a pair of lodestones kept husbands and wives faithful and made their love secure. This simple mojo bag spell echoes that belief. Select two very small lodestones or lodestone chips that make a good pair. When positioned head to tail, they should attract strongly and share a snug surface in common. Place them together, feed them with magnetic sand to give them a hairy coating and anoint them with love me oil and your conjoined sexual fluids. Say a prayer for a continuation of your love over long distances. Then gently separate the lodestones, keeping as much magnetic sand on them as possible, and place each one in a red flannel bag. Tie the bags shut and keep each one while you are apart. They will draw you back together again. When the two of you are reunited, complete the ritual by taking the lodestones out and reuniting them head to tail. 
Dress them with anointing oil with your bodily fluids, then feed them with more magnetic sand. Thereafter, you may keep the lodestones any bowl on your altar or under your bed, or bury them together in your yard. All right, that one don't sound bad. Okay, seven-day love drawing spell. Determine which ends of a matched pair of lodestones draw to each other most strongly. Then put them on a tray, same distance apart, with the attracting ends facing each other. Behind and between them, making a triangle, set a red candle. Name the lodestones for you and the person you wish to attract. Place the personal concerns or the name papers of each person beneath the person's lodestone or dress the stones with the sexual fluids. Dress the candle in each stone with your favorite love drawing oil. Light the candle and feed the lodestones with magnetic sand. Concentrate on your desires and read aloud the Song of Solomon from the Bible. Let the candle burn one-seventh of the way down and snuff it. The next day, light the candle, move the lodestones closer to each other, and feed them with magnetic sand. Concentrate on your desires and read aloud the Song of Solomon. Let the candle burn another seventh of the way down and snuff it. Continue like this for seven days until the candle is finished and the lodestones are touching and are covered with magnetic sand. When the ritual is done, place the lodestones still on their tray in a safe place where they can continue to draw to each other. Okay. Lodestone mojo bat hands. I was going to say bags, but it's hands. Root workers may many make many styles of conjure bags in which they place a pebble-sized piece of lodestone for job getting, fast luck, or drawing money, or a pair of pebble-sized lodestones for love drawing or reconciliation. These are fed with magnetic sand and other herbs or roots and added as appropriate to the condition being addressed. i got to get a swallow of water, y'all. Sorry. Mm. Additional, this is the last part of it right here. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't need to read that part. It's Now, I'm going to just go to the magnetic sand right quick. It's not a long read, I don't think. No, it's not. It's right here. Magnetic sand. Toby makers and conjurers who specialize in good luck work fine quite work find quite a lot of uses for magnetic sand particularly in conju conjunction with low stones B -b -b <laughs> I can't get that out y'all I got it out but weirdly alright it says here that magnetic sand is anvil dust lodestone hairs steel dust or iron powder okay or grit all right, it says magnetic sand for love and money. It is traditional to feed lodestones with magnetic sand to keep, to get and keep them working. Magnetic sand that has clung to a lodestone, sometimes called lodestone hairs, makes a valuable sprinkle. If it was collected off of a single money drawing lodestone, then gamblers can use it to dress green candles or coins in order to draw success in games of chance. It was a it, if it was collected from a pair of mated okay lodestones that were used for love drawing, it can be sprinkled at the feet of the desired person so that he or she will step into it. It because by getting it into their foot tracks, they will be drawn into love and romance. All right, that is all there is on the magnetic sand in this book. I hope y'all like that. This is the book right here, y'all. 
I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I was going to make a comment about that comment. But I'm not going to, y'all. I'm just going to keep my thoughts to myself. And that's the end of it. Because <laughs> I'm telling y'all. I think that was a rude comment. I'll just say that. All right. All right, y'all. Y'all have a good day, and I really want y'all to be safe out there because it is getting damn freaking crazy out there from what I'm seeing and hearing. Yeah, y'all be careful. I send y'all lots of love, and I will see y'all in my next video. Much love, y'all. Toodles.